In today's episode, I go head to head with London's biggest sandwich. I reveal the identity of London's Bilker Bandit. And the tourists save the day. Hey, good morning, you crazy cats. It's Friday the 9th of August. We are right in the middle of the summer holidays. Uh, the Olympics are still going on. We are fifth in the medal table with 13 golds. That particular event finishes on Sunday. Now, London works like this. Londoners go away for these six weeks of the holidays and the tourists come in, especially the Middle Eastern tourists. Okay, so here she is waiting for me to look after me for the day. The plate on the back expires 24th of the 8th. So I'm in for overhaul, already booked in next week. So when I come back from a short break, my cab will be ready to drive for another year with a new plate on. Check out the rear, what we've got going there. Look at that lovely skylight. So the wonderful passengers can see the rain falling on them. And away we go. Okay. Check on the taxi function, uh, 29 miles electric. I did pop it on for a quick charge last night. Altogether 79 miles. That should be okay to keep us going today. Yesterday was very busy. Right, off we go. Just reiterating about how summer works for a London cabbie. Well, Londoners leave, they're all away on holiday at the moment. However, the slack is taken up by the Middle Eastern crew. These are uh, tourists that come from Dubai, Qatar, Emirates, partly because they love London. And they like the shopping, they like the restaurants, they like the coffee. But also, over in that part of the world this time of the year, it is ridiculously hot and they just want to get out. It's like 50, 52 degrees. They tell me they love it over here with the parks and the cooler weather. So, there's going to be a lot of Harrods and Selfridge today. Right, Starbucks it is this morning. The queue for Costa was ridiculous. Let's get uh, the meter on, we're up and running. Card machine is on and the normal route into West London. Let's head towards Holland Park. We're gonna end up down the Uxbridge Road and Holland Park roundabout and then hopefully we'll get a bite around Holland Park. Typical Friday morning, lots of people working from home, obviously, went past the Kensington Hilton, couldn't get on there. Um, slow start, half past nine already, and the tourists are not even finishing their breakfasts yet. Especially the Middle Eastern crowd, they don't really get out until about one or two in the afternoon. They are late risers. And it was Lancaster Gate where I got my first bite of the day. Okay. I have one here. Bayswater Road. Hi there. Hello, good morning. Morning. Can I go to Um to 160 Piccadilly? Yes. No problem. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, here we go. First job of the day, Ford Bayswater Road. Wait at the lights, Ford Lancaster Gate, Ford Bayswater Road. And just keep going. No need to go in the bus lane today because there's hardly any traffic at this time in the morning. Before long, we'll be passing London's smallest house on the left and then arrive Marble Arch. Comply Marble Arch, leave by Park Lane, head south. Head the second set of lights and it's left onto Upper Brook Street. Forward Upper Brook Street, wait at the lights. Forward Grosvenor Square, past the old American Embassy, comply Grosvenor Square, leave by Carlos Place, left Mount Street. Right Davis Street, comply Barclay Square. Leave Barclay Square by Barclay Street, head south towards Piccadilly. We're heading towards 160 Piccadilly, set down on the left. Right, first job. Um, Bayswater Road, well, Lancaster Gate to the Wolsey. That's 160 Piccadilly. So the first job out of the way. And that was one of the Middle East crew. Lovely lady. She was up early and she'll be going for breakfast at the wonderful Wolsey, which apparently does an amazing breakfast. Okay, let's get out and hunt for job number two. From there, made my way through St. James's, around St. James's Square, then out onto Pall Mall. And there were no cabs outside the RAC Club, the Royal Automobile Club. So I thought I'd give that a try. World famous Royal Automobile Club. 
Here we are. Um, hopefully someone's going to be coming out of here soon. It's a Friday morning. Everyone's still in bed. They're working from home. Well, they say they're working from home. They've got the laptop in their bed and they haven't even switched it on yet. Hello, sir. Oh. Going up to uh, Paddington. Paddington Station. Yeah. Quite a lot of luggage though. Oh, okay, let's get you in. Yeah, no problem. Okay, job number two. We'll go forward Pall Mall here, past Mall Brigade on the left, right, St. James Street. Traffic still looking pretty good for this time of the morning. Hit the lights at the junction for Piccadilly. After we get through this light, Ford Albemarle Street, left Stafford, right Dover Street, and then left Hay Hill, right Barclay Street, comply Barclay Square, lead by Davis Street, left Mount Street, bear right Carlos Place, left Grosvenor Square, we're really motoring today. Ford, upper Grosvenor Street, until we get to the lights at Park Lane. Wait for the lights here until they turn green, which they just did. Turn right onto Park Lane, head north. Then left and right Cumberland Gate. Right base Water Road, left Edgware Road. Head north. Okay, I'm going to the taxi rank at Paddington Station. The entrance on the Bishop's Bridge Road. Because these folks have got an awful lot of luggage and they need a trolley. So head forward up onto the Edgware Road. So we get to the lights at the end, left Harrow Road, comply roundabout, leave by the Bishop's Bridge, left into the station approach, rammed full of cabs today, right turn and set down on the left. Okay, nice little job from Pall Mall, the Royal Automobile Club to Paddington Station, a nice family there, drop them off. They're off on more holly bobs around the UK. Um, gonna head back down Eastbourne Terrace the front of the station. I don't know where I'll go after that. Let's see where we end up. Looking for job number three now. I made my way around to the front of the station. I thought then I'd give the Hilton Metropole a try. I haven't been on there for a while. Past the Ferrari in the box on the right and behind the cab in front and I was ranked up. Hi there. Good morning, sir. Hi. 85 Piccadilly, High Restaurant. Job number three, right, start off with a left turn onto Parade Street and then we'll do a right turn onto the Edgware Road, heading south all the way down to Marble Arch. Traffic is moving very well still. I'm impressed. Left Marble Arch then, right Park Lane, head south. Very straightforward route this one. As soon as I get down near the bottom, I think I'm going to cut the corner off and jump through Hamilton Place. So left comply roundabout. Down through Hamilton Place, avoid the lights at High Park Corner, why not? Forward Piccadilly, and then we'll set down on left for the Hyde Restaurant. Thanks very much. Okay, job number uh, three, keep the change, uh, which is very nice of them. That was the Hilton Metropole to Hyde Restaurant, which does a wonderful breakfast on Piccadilly. However, it's rather an expensive breakfast. It's something in the region of £100 a head. <laughs> so, um, yeah, if you've got a bit of extra money, or if you've been saving up, try the breakfast at the Hyde restaurant. From Piccadilly, I about turned, headed towards High Park Corner through Belgravia and stumbled upon the Colton Towers Hotel and decided to rank up there. When I was in Paddington the station, I picked up a copy of this. Now, this is the Licensed Taxi Drivers Association magazine. And the headline, Wanted, the Bilka Band. Well, let's find out who the Bilka Bandit is. First of all, what's a Bilka? Well, a Bilka is a passenger who evades payment, either runs off or refuses to pay. Now, taxi drivers out there, here's a picture of the guy you want to keep an eye out for because he will not pay you. That is the Bilka Bandit. Stay away from him. If you want to find out more about Vilkas, passengers who refuse to pay, I did an episode about this a while ago. Click the link above. Right, we are off at the Colton Tower. The Grosvenor Road, South Kensington. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Gro uh, let, I'll just check that. I'll just check that. Job number four, leave by Hotel Forecourt, right Cadogan Place, right on to Pond Street, hit the lights, the refurbishments of Sloan Street still continue. Wait for that green light and then we'll be off, plenty of traffic coming through ahead of me, and bear round to the right, left Walton Street. When I get to the end of Walton Street, it's going to be a right Draycott Avenue, left onto the Brompton Road, and then right Pelham Street. 
this takes us all the way up to South Kensington. So it's a right now onto the old Brompton Road and keep on going until we hit the lights at Queen's Gate. Right onto the Queen's Gate, head north until we cross over the Cromwell Road and then we're going to take a left into Queen's Gate Place. The left is coming right now. Ford Queen's Gate Place, Ford Queen's Gate Gardens, right Gloucester Road and then set down on the left for Faye Maison. Right, job number four done. That's Colton Tower Hotel to Faye Maison. 50 Gloucester Road. Be careful here. Two Faye Maisons on Gloucester Road. Taxi drivers probably, you guys already know that. One on the south side of the Cromwell Road, one on the north side. 50 is the north side Faye Maison. Very popular restaurant. Haunt of the Middle Eastern crowd. They'll be popping in there for a wonderful breakfast, no doubt. Okay, let's get on the hunt for job number five. I headed down Gloucester Road, had a comfort break in one of the hotels, then headed back up Gloucester Road, and then okay. this happened. We've, um, I think we've got a job here. Uh, do you want me to take the ramp out? Yes, please. And we're off job number five. Left onto the Cromwell Road and just keep going. This is quite a good job because it's like a mini roader. Gloucester Road to Shepherd's Bush Market. You just keep on going on the big stuff and you can knock it out really quickly. So forward West Cromwell Road right onto the Warwick Road and head north past the big Tesco's on the left. Get to the junction of Kensington High Street. Bit of a wait here, there always is. And then forward Holland Road. Now there's going to be a fight to get in the left lane here. As lots of people cheat in the right lane and try to jump back in the left lane. You know what I mean, taxi drivers, so forward Holland Road. Heading towards Holland Park Roundabout here. Apply Holland Park Roundabout, leave by Shepherd's Bush Green. Forward Shepherd's Bush Greens on the south side, of course, here. Until we get to the lights at the end, they'll change green. Forward Goldhawk Road, and then I set down on left. Job number five, that was Gloucester Road to Shepherd's Bush Market. A job you will do many times as a taxi driver in London during the summer. The Middle Eastern crowd love to come to Shepherd's Bush Market. It has wonderful fabrics at wonderful prices. Okay, let's hunt down job number six. So from Shepherd's Bush Market, I headed up towards Holland Park Roundabout, trundled through Notting Hill Gate along the Bayswater Road, got to Marble Arch, still didn't get a bite, headed down Park Lane, and then this happened. Hi there. Hi there. International. This was a two-cab job from the Grosvenor House Suites to the Eurostar St Pancras, and I was nominated to take all of the luggage with just one of the passengers. Okay, me and the luggage and one passenger go left onto Mount Street, left Park Street, and it's just a case of heading north. Now the taxi in front of me is the second taxi that's doing the same job as me. He's got all the passengers and I've just got one passenger with all the luggage in the back. Forward Portman Street here, and then forward Portman Square once the lights turn green. Forward Gloucester Place. Lots of left and righting here as the road system has changed in the last few years. Right turn onto the Merlebone Road. Jump into that bus lane. I've overtaken my compatriot. He's behind me somewhere with the passengers, but not far behind, so we will arrive at roughly the same time. Forward towards the Euston underpass. Will I use the underpass? No, I stay in the left lane because I know on the other side of this junction, I've got the bus lane waiting for me and that whizzes me down towards King Cross and Pancras. Traffic's on the up now. It's getting busier and busier. We're past midday. This is to be expected. So I'm just sticking it out in the bus lane, moving as fast as I can. And before long, the British Library appears on the left, that means I'm not far, then some Pancras Station, and then it's going to be a left turn onto Pancras Road, and I'll set neatly down on the left for the Eurostar. Wow, what a job. Grosvenor Suites, Park Lane, um, to St Pancras Station, the Eurostar. Now, that was a two-hander, two cabs. I took mostly all the luggage with the gentleman, uh, the father of the family, and the rest of the family went in uh, the other cab. So it was a two-hander. Got here okay. Um, King's Cross, there's about 60 people waiting for cabs there. So I'm just going to go across the road, getting the line, and grab job number seven out of there. Uh, we're going to the house. 
Hamyard Hotel? Oh, I know it, yeah. Okay, Down okay. by Piccadilly, yeah. Okay, the Ham Yard Hotel it is, and a lovely hotel at that, right onto the Euston Road. Ford Euston Road left into the bus lane, of course, because that's going to save us lots and lots of time. Keep going Ford Euston Road until I get up to University College Hospital. That's where I'm going to take my left turn down into central London, south onto Gower Street. Up until recently, Gower Street was one way. Well, a year and a half ago or two years ago, it became two way and Tottenham Court Road was closed to all traffic apart from ambulances and buses. So we have plenty of traffic squeezed down past Bedford Square, then onto Bloomsbury Street. Okay, this is a sort of like straight line job that bends round to the right. We're going past the British Museum on the left, then jumping onto Shaftesbury Avenue. Passing Covent Garden on the left, head forward till we get to the junction of Charing Cross Road, the famous Palace Theatre. To the right of us, home of what was Les Miserables. Forward Shaftesbury Avenue, Chinatown on the left here, the famous Gerard Street. Keep going. I'm looking for a right here onto Wimmore Street. The Wimmore Club is still there as well then left ham yard and set down on right. Now that was job number seven, if I'm correct. And the only way out from here is right up through. Um, now that was job number seven, if I'm correct. And the only way out of here is right up through Soho. And I'm gonna jump out onto Regent Street. Let's see what we have, Great Marble Street. Hello. Hi. Uh, hi, uh, it's Lonely Square. It's Lone Square? Okay. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, leave on left here, Great Marlborough Street, Liberty to Sloan Square. Lights are a real pain here at the Regent Street Junction. Left Regent Street, right Conduit Street, I meet a problem coming down to Bruton Street here. Forced right, road was closed down there, onto St. George's Street, left Maddox Street, forward Grosvenor Street. More traffic on Grosvenor Street because of that road closure behind me. Forward Grosvenor Square. Left North Audley Street, right Mount Street. I'm cutting it up a bit to save time. Left onto Park Lane, left into the bus lane as well. Obviously, we can see that. Down towards High Park Corner. Beautiful day, by the way. Comply High Park Corner. Leave by Grove the Crescent on the left here. Forward Belgrave Square. Comply Belgrave Square. Leave by Upper Belgrave Street. Then right Eaton Square. Eaton Square towards... Sloan Square gives me Eaton Gate, forward Cliveden Place, forward and left into Sloan Square and then set down on the left. Thanks very much. Bye -bye. Have a good day. Bye bye. Okay, here we go. Liberties to Sloan Square, job number eight complete. So if you arrive in Sloan Square, you might as well just rank up in Sloan Square. Right, just moving around to um, the front of the rank. Two cabs in front, won't be long now. Starting this journey from Chesham Place, I'm afraid I forgot to turn the camera on. Apologies, comply Belgrave Square, leave by Grosvenor Crescent. Okay, ebbing my way up to the end of Grosvenor Crescent until jumping onto High Park Corner. Comply High Park Corner right at the top, past Duke of Wellington House on the left, left Park Lane. We all know what's going to happen here. Get into Park Lane and move into the left lane because that's going to keep me moving. This job is actually going to a restaurant called the Hilipi Restaurant, which was a knowledge point when I was on the knowledge. So it's quite a famous little restaurant that's been there for years. Left and right Cumberland Gate, left Bayswater Road. Now it's a case of just heading west on the Bayswater Road until I get to Lancaster Gate. Traffic always around the lights here and the parks on the left. They're waiting to go into the park. I'm on a red light here. That will very quickly turn green. And away we go forward Lancaster Gate. Then a right and left Lancaster Gate. Right lights the terrace, set down on left. Thank you. Right, we are getting there. Job number nine, Sloan Square to the Hilipi restaurant on Leicester Terrace. Nice little job. Just keep it um, east of Sloan Square and take it up Park Lane. 
pretty straightforward really and uh, cut through Lancaster Gate. From there I headed east Bayswater Road, Osford Street with an eye of getting lunch at this new sandwich sandwich shop on Gresham Street. Maybe I would just trap a job going further east. Well, this is what happened when I was nearly at the end of Oxford Street. Okay, job here, Oxford Street. Oh, he's coming over to my side of the road, which is nice of him. Hi, sir. Okay. Okay, start this job heading west with a U-turn. Yes, heading west, and I wanted to go east. That always happens. Anyway, forward Oxford Street. I'm not going to wait at the lights, Oxford Circus right Great Portland Street left onto Margaret Street and that's going to take me over Regent Street forward Cavendish Square forward Henrietta Place right Wimpole Street get to the lights at the halfway point on Wimpole Street and then do a left onto Wigmore Street keep going on Wigmore Street heading west all the way towards the Edgware Road this is the junction of Mandeville Place Coming up to Portman Square, we'll pass Portman Square on the right. That's Selfridges on the left. After Portman Square, keep going until I get a right turn onto Great Cumberland Place. For Great Cumberland Place, left at the end onto George Street. George Street gives me a nice right turn and a left turn onto the Edgware Road. So it's a good junction to use. Wait at the lights here right turn onto the edge of road set down on left okay a bit of a problem with payment there that was oxford street the tottenham court road end of oxford street to edge road now i'm definitely going to take a break now and get hold of that sandwich i turned my light off headed east towards the city and that sandwich shop that everyone's been talking about right finally break time i'm here just on the corner of gresham street uh, let's get something to eat Sandwich Sandwich on Gresham Street have just been open the two weeks. Now I decided to get there late today because between 12 and 1 and 2 you just cannot get through the front door. Now this outfit started off in South Bristol in 2010 with just a small sandwich shop. It was rebranded a few years later when they opened other branches in and around Bristol. I think they've got three big sandwich sandwiches there right now. This is the first of its kind in London, in the city of London. And they're famous for producing huge sandwiches at fairly huge prices. This man has just made my chicken Kiev sandwich, which I am really looking forward to. And it comes in this wonderful bag here. What's your name? My name is Lawrence. Lawrence, Podcast thanks very much. Guys. Yeah, I'll spread the word with all the other cab drivers. Thank you so Fantastic. Much. Cheers, Enjoy. buddy. Take Thank care, you. Man. Bye. Right. Have I got a treat for you? Okay. Um, I ordered the chicken Kiev one, like I said, and God, let me just get this thing out. <gasps> it's massive. It's absolutely massive, £8.95. I reckon that is nearly a kilo of sandwich, for sure. Nearly a kilo of sandwich. I don't know if I'd be able to eat it. Wow, this is what you've got. That sandwich is the biggest sandwich I've ever seen. So I'm gonna take one half here. And I guess, you know, this is just half and just delve into it. I'm gonna do my best. Mm. Mm. That has got no calories in it at all. So I'd say guys, these sandwiches are for sharing really. Half is more than enough and the other half, well, bring a friend to sandwich sandwich because one sandwich is definitely enough for two right sandwich sandwich has well and truly beaten me that was the biggest sandwich i've ever had in my life and i only ate half of it right let's get going head west do another couple of jobs done 10 already this is going to be job number 11 oh dear i can feel my statins kicking in from there i headed round towards holborn viaduct Holborn Viaduct then turns into High Holborn and Holborn. And just near the end, towards the Kingsway, I had this one. Hi. Thank you so much. Guildhall Music School. Uh, which one? Guildhall. Guildhall. Oh, Guildhall a Barbican. Yeah, yes, no thanks. problem, yeah. 
Okay, final job of the day. Leave on left high Holborn, wait at the lights, cross the Kingsway, right Southampton Place, right Bloomsbury Square, jump the bus lane on the left. Forward over the lights onto Theobald's Road, right into Drake Street, and then forward Proctor Street. Jump back into the left lane, left High Holborn. Back where I started, kind of. Well, forward High Holborn, then forward Holborn, past Chancery Lane, left Charterhouse Street. Go right into Smithfields here. Wait at the lights, plenty of stuff going on around Farringdon. Right into Lindsay Street at the end. Left into Long Lane, wait at the lights, and then over into the Barbican, forward Beak Street. Get a right at the end onto Silk Street and then set down on the right. Job number 11 complete. That was Holborn to the Barbican, the Guildhall School of Music. So 11 jobs today, like I said, six off ranks, seven off the street and a massive thank you to all you Middle Eastern tourists that keep us taxi drivers going during the summer weeks. OK, I've got to go home and do some digesting after that incredibly huge sandwich. If you enjoyed today's episode, why not subscribe? Leave any comments down below. Hit that thumbs up button. Until next time, see you back here.